In this class, I'm going to teach you how to draw complex alkanes. Let's look at this question that says, draw the structure for 4 sec butyl 2 chloronunane. Let's see how to draw such a structure. Now remember the rule of drawing. I've said that in the previous videos. Whenever you are given the name of the compound that you are asked to draw, the first thing you have to do is to locate the parent's name, which is the longest chain. And how do you locate it? Go to the last name given in that structure. The last name here is no name, which means nine. So you draw nine carbon atoms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine. Now, after drawing the longest chain, how did I get nine? The name ended with no name. So draw nine carbons, no name. Now, number from any side of your choice. You can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, go to position four, attach sec butyl. Go to position two, attach chloro, which is chlorine. This is position two. I will attach chlorine here. That is Cl. Now I'll go to position four and put sec butyl. Now a sec butyl, which is actually secondary butyl, is a butyl in which the second carbon is the one used to connect to the longest chain. Look at this. This is butyl. One, two, three, four. This is butane. So if I connect this butane to this longest chain from the first carbon, this is the first carbon. This is one, two, three, four. If I connect from here, I will not call it set butyl. I will just call it butyl because I connected from the first carbon of the butyl. But if I connect it from the second carbon here, this is when I will call it sec butyl. Now, not this. If I connect from the second carbon and I still have another attachment on that same second carbon, in this case, how many carbons in all? One, two, three, four. Here, I will call it that butyl, tertiary butyl, that's that. If it is connected from the second carbon, and there is another carbon connected to that same second carbon. Total carbon here is one, two, three, four, which is butyl. So this is that butyl. Okay. Now back to our problem. What we are asked to attach is sec butyl, which means from carbon number two. Now this is my sec butyl. One, two, three, four. I will connect from the second carbon, which is here. All I need to do now is to balance the hydrogen atoms. So let's take it closer. I have C, 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 and C. Now this is CH3. This is CH. This is CH2. And this is CH3. This is my sec butyl. Why am I calling it sec butyl? Because I connected the butyl from the second carbon. This is first, second, third, and fourth. So I connected from the second. That's why it is called sec butyl. At position four, at position four, attack sec butyl, which is this. The next thing to do is to balance the hydrogen atoms in the structure. This is one H. This one has one, two, two H. This one need only one H here. This one needs one, two, two H. So I miss one, two, two H. So I miss one, two again, two H. So I miss one, two, up and down, that's two H. So I miss one, two, three, three H. So we can say carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So this is four sec butyl, two chloro, no name. And that is the answer to the question. But we can rewrite this in the skeletal form. Let's write, let's draw this in the skeletal structure to be 
nine carbons, no name, which is like this. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, this is first, this is second. At position two, I'll put chlorine. Here, yeah, I will attach chlorine. One, two, three, four. At position four, here, I will attach set butyl, which is like this. Ensure that it is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The second carbon is the one connected to the chain. Actually, this name is supposed to be two chloro, four set butyl, no name. Thank you for watching this video. Do not forget to share, like, comment, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.